This lesson is about special right triangles. There are two right triangles that are used often, and you're going to need to know the special relationships uh, between the sides in these special right triangles. There is the 45-45-90, and there's also the 30-60-90 triangle. Now that's in reference to the angles. So, the 45-45-90 triangle, it's an isosceles triangle um, that can be formed by cutting a square in half. So if you look at this picture here, if you are drawing the diagonal of the square, you're forming a, an isosceles right triangle. And so the angles would be 45, 45, and 90. And that leaves your sides in a special relationship here because around the uh, sides of the square, they are all the same value. And then your diagonal is going to be longer than those sides, and it always ends up being that side times the square root of 2. This means that in the 45, 45, 90, the hypotenuse is always going to be square root 2 times as long as each leg. And so an easy way to remember that is hypotenuse equals leg times the root 2. Or, symbolically, x times root 2, as long as x is the length of your side. So here you see x, x, and x root 2. So in an example, let's find the length of uh, the hypotenuse. We are given that 8 is the side. I can tell this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. That means this other side must be 8, and thus my hypotenuse must be 8 square root of 2. If my sides are 3 square root of 2, then that must be mean that my hypotenuse is 3 square root of 2 times the square root of 2. So now, working with radicals, I can multiply square root 2 times square root 2 to make square root 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so that means that that value becomes 3 times 2, which is 6. So my hypotenuse is equal to 6. Here, the hypotenuse is 5 root 2. That must mean that the sides were 5 and 5, 5, 5, and 5 root 2. If I set up my sides kind of in a little formula table, I know that each leg here is associated with across from the 45 degree angle, and the hypotenuse is across from the 90 degree angle. Thus, having 5 root 2, you can see how that value would be x. So that means that x is 5 on each side. There's a few other examples to try if you want to give them a whirl. Pause the video and try each of them and then start it back up to see the answers. And here are those answer values if you want to check yourself. 2, 2, and 8 squared of 2. Now let's go look at the 30, 69 to triangle. The 30-60-90 triangle is formed by dividing an equilateral triangle in half. An equilateral triangle has three angles that are all 60-60-60. That means that when we divide this in half, we are forming the altitude of that triangle, thus leaving me with 30 at the top, 60 being at the bottom, a 30-60-90 special right triangle. Because of the ratios of the sides, the hypotenuse is always going to be twice as long as the shorter leg, and the longer leg is always going to be square root three times as long as the shorter leg. Thus we are going to have a relationship that looks like x, x root three, and two x. x being the side across from 30 degrees, x squared to three being your longer leg across from your 60 degrees, and then two x meaning two times the shorter side for your hypotenuse. So in this example we're going to find the height of this equilateral triangle. I can tell it's equilateral because the bottom side is also six centimeters along with the other sides. So this top angle must be 30 degrees in the triangle so across from it will be my short side. That means with my formulas here my short side will be representing x with 3. I can see my hypotenuse across from 90 degrees is 6, which does coincide with 3 being the short leg, because 3 times 2 is 6. That leaves me with my long leg across from 60 degrees. Since x is 3, 
it will be 3 times the square root of 3, thus 3 root 3. There's many different ways that we could see the sides of a triangle, such as 9 being the longer leg. That means that that is representing x squared of 3. So because my longer leg is a 9, in order to find my shorter leg, I must divide the x root 3 by root 3 to get x. That means I need to take 9 and divide by root 3 to find this value. So if I take 9 and divide by root 3, I'm going to have to rationalize the denominator. That means I multiply the top and bottom of my fraction by root 3, which is a ratio of 1, giving me 9 root 3 over 3. Now if I divide my whole numbers, 9 over 3, that leaves me with 3 root 3, which is the value for x. In order to find the hypotenuse, I'm going to double that. So if I take 3 root 3, and I multiply it by 2. I'm going to be able to uh, multiply my whole numbers together, my integers, 3 and 2, to make 6 square root of 3. Thus, on my triangle, the value of y is my hypotenuse, 6 square root of 3. And the value of x here is the short leg, which is 3 square root of 3. Try the practice at the bottom and pause the video, and then continue playing it so that we can check. In number 10, x must be equal to 3 because it is across from the long leg, which is x root 3 in my formula. So I must take the short leg and multiply by root 3. In number 11, I can see that h would be across from the 60 degree angle, so it's the long leg as well. So it must be 2 square root of 3.